guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about Cycle Bar. I have been spinning for about six months now, so I kind of just wanted to do a touch base, a recap video, review, just like talk about everything, as well as show you guys progress photos because I like watching some of these types of videos and because I know I haven't been doing a lot of fitness content and I loved doing fitness content. It was so much fun, but because I've been just going to cycle bar a lot more and not really doing at home workouts, um, I, it's like the same thing over and over again. So I don't want to like bring my camera every day. Um, so that's why I'm just going to make this video and hopefully you guys find it helpful or entertaining. Before we get into everything, make sure you're subscribed and also turn on your post notifications. Also to follow me on Instagram because it would mean the absolute world to me and you just should. So starting off, I started cycle bar and spinning in November. It was like the weekend after, or like a couple weeks after um, Thanksgiving and I really wanted to get into it because I had just accepted a full-time job and I wanted to um, have something I could go to like a physical location um, workout and then go to work and I just thought it would be really good to just try spin classes and everything and at the time what actually really got my butt to like do it was the amazing deal that was going on. So they were doing like a Black Friday deal where it's 140. Well, it's 139, but like, let's just round up because like tax and whatever. So it's 140 a month. And I think that's kind of reasonable. It's still a little pricey, not gonna lie. But if you do the math and you go four to five times a week, which I make sure to do, at least I really try to do that. Um, I you get the benefit out of it because it makes the classes like a little cheaper. So it is kind of a lot, but just if you go and you use it, then it'll be worth it. Um, I love the music, the classes, each instructor is different. Obviously I have my favorites and that's just like any type of class you go to, you're gonna have your favorites, you're gonna have some that you work harder for than others. If you guys haven't seen my other cycle bar videos, um, I'll link them down below so you guys can check them out. But ranking in class is a little hard, uh, but just make sure you put in your information in the cycle bar app, your height and weight and everything, and hopefully it'll like calculate it better. But um, the main way to get higher on the board is a heavier gear, meaning like it's hard to push your legs down on the pedals as well as RPM. So I think in my last video I made about cycle bar about like ranking number one. Yes, it's important to have the gear like kind of higher. It also takes into account how fast your, your legs are moving. So if you're at gear 11, but your RPM is like 30 or 20, then clearly it's not gonna help you. But if your gear is at 11 and you're going at an RPM of like 60 or 70, which I guess, I don't even know if that's possible, but then you would like rank higher if you know what I mean. So those two factors are what will help you in the long run. So that's kind of like touching on ranking and everything, which that's kind of how like I've learned how to rank higher in the class, especially when you do like the races and stuff. Next, I want to talk about how many rides I currently have participated in, I guess. Um, it's 87, so on Monday it'll be my 88th ride, which I'm super excited about. Um, I can't wait to get to 100 because I think that'll be like super exciting and hopefully at one of the locations I can like sign the 100 ride board. I really like how they encourage people to like come by celebrating milestones. So I just find that to be really fun and a good way to like engage with, you know, the customers and I don't know, or I guess we are customers or riders, I should say. So that's also something that I really appreciate. I like riding at both um, locations. So I ride in like a downtown Orlando location and then I also ride in like a winter garden location and they are really good and they're really different. I mean, they're different because of the different bikes, but like they're all like friendly everywhere. But if I had to choose, I like the black bikes better because they're more comfortable and they're smart bikes. So it just kind of like goes with your power of your leg and everything. And 
they're just a lot smaller. They're more compact. The white bikes, um, my friend and I were discussing this, just seem large and they're just so big that, um, you know, they're just not as comfortable to ride on. So I'm hoping that the other location gets the black bikes because the black bikes are my favorite. And if I have to choose, it would be the black bikes to ride on. That's why on Saturdays, sometimes I like to go to the location with black bikes because I just prefer that better. So moving on to like my diet with working out. So I kind of eat intuitively and I know that sounds kind of crazy, but like I just try to be balanced. So I listen to my body and whatever I'm just feeling like I eat. Um, I know that's kind of weird, but um, as you guys know, I eat almost the same thing every day for lunch, at least during the week. So with cycle bar and everything, like I just have my regular lunch, which is egg whites, celery. Um, I have like saltine crackers or like nut thins and then some little shortbread cookies because I just find that to be all like really balanced and like with water just to hydrate and everything. Um, I do tend to get Starbucks, but I always get like this small cup and I get like the vanilla sweet cream cold brew with like light sweet cream. Um, and that's pretty much it. And then for dinner, either it's like a salad and turkey or it's like Four Rivers sometimes or Hooters or Valerie makes pizza. I don't know. Dinner is obviously like a more heavier um, meal for me. So I know like during the day I eat really like light and everything and I I know it sounds bad, but I don't really eat breakfast. Um, I hate breakfast, like all breakfast foods I really don't like. I feel so weighed down with foods in the morning. Like it could be anything. Like I cannot eat before 12 and feel like I can conquer the rest of the day. So I know that sounds weird, but because I have more of a heavy dinner, I use that energy that I have from the dinner just to work out. I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's just what works best for me. And um, dinner is my favorite meal of the day. So I treat myself at dinner and I just eat what I wanna eat. Would I get faster results if I did more of a keto type style? Yes, but because I'm working out four days a week, at least at minimum, I feel like it's okay because that's kind of what I did with like at dance and stuff. Even though at dance, I was dancing for like three hours instead of just 45 minutes. So that's also something that I want to like talk about because I know food is like, it's a very, very important thing. And if I were to ever like stop working out or stop going to cycle bar, I would definitely be a lot more conscious. Like I would probably try my hardest to follow at least during the week, a keto diet because calorie intake and all of that. So now I kind of want to get into the photos because I've taken like, not multiple, but like, I'm just going to flash them up on the screen. So here you're seeing like before any fitness until now. So I don't know if you guys can tell them, oh, I can definitely tell the difference, but I don't know. I've come a long way and like, as you guys can see, like with the pictures, so this is the front view and then this is the side view. And honestly, I just feel like a lot more confident and like trying on clothes and swimsuits, like you just feel hot and you're just like, yes. So um, I definitely think it's worth it to just like work hard and just keep consistent. Um, next, you're seeing the front view of like before cycle bar and then now. So this is six months of cycle bar versus me doing at home workouts. As you guys can see, here's the side view of that. Um, cycle bar really pushes like the calorie loss, like since it's more high intensity, like uh, cardio, I feel like you burn a lot faster, a lot quickly, more quickly. So I definitely think cycle bar works to lose weight if that is your goal. Um, obviously you have to be consistent with it and everything. But um, yeah, and then here's just like some f other fun photos. Um, I love my little bikini pics and like all of that. So um, I just want to show you guys the photos because, you know, seeing progress always helps and is encouraging. Well, the last time I weighed myself, I did not, I should have weighed myself this morning, but 
I'm almost at my goal weight. So, so the last time I weighed myself, I try to not weigh myself that much because I feel like it's really unhealthy just to focus on numbers. I think it should be all about like how you're feeling and listening to your body, but just as a progress, like check in, I like to weigh myself sometimes. So this was one time I was just like, I feel really good. I, it was in the morning. So, you know, you're just like, I don't know, lighter, you're lightest in the morning anyway, just in general. So I weighed myself on 416 and so it was about like a month ago and I weigh 126.8 and most of that I think is muscle. So that's also really good. But um, overall, I just feel like really good within my body and my goal weight is 125. So I'm not too far off. And if I really focused on eating healthy and everything and incorporating like more keto meals in my diet, then I probably would hit that goal faster. But I'm not in any competition or anything. It's just, I wanna better myself and just feel more confident and love to shop and look cute in clothes. So that's my main goal, like, I mean, and obviously like be healthier. Overall, I love Cycle Bar. I hope I can continue everything um, with what I'm doing and if you are looking to join a spin studio, I highly recommend it. It's so fun. Um, and you do make a lot of friends. Like I've made a lot of friends doing it. Um, I think it really just depends on your location, personality, like all of that stuff. But yeah, I think that is going to be about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, let me know down below if you've ever tried spin or what type of workouts you like doing. And I think that's about it. So give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.